Age of Undead. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Age of Undead is a multi-genre game, turn-based, RTS, FPS, that allows you to face a frightful zombie apocalypse with three unique factions, the army, the infected, and the survivors. Make strategic choices in the campaign, then go into battle and fight to survive. This, guys, is a £24.99 game on Steam that just came out uh, two days ago. I've been playing it for a good few hours now because I thought it sounded really good. And it does sound really good. The whole, the whole way you, you play the game sounds really good. You have a campaign map that's completely turn-based, which I like. It's all hexes with different values on each hex. You're looking to uh, get factories you're looking to increase your production you're looking to increase your money and you're looking to um increase the size of your army and you do that by capturing by simply moving over the the various hexes on the map and you're playing with um two or three ais on your side against the apocalypse the zombie army guys there'll be four of them as well and they start at the top of the map, you start at the bottom of the map, and you sort of have to take each other out. And you do that by expanding your army, expanding your super weapons, and things like that. When you come across an enemy on the map, if they attack you or you attack them, all six hexes in, around the area of attack become active. So any armies that's in any of them six hexes will be drawn into the fight. That sounds great. Now... Not only that, guys, it depends what you actually are using when you get drawn into the fight. For example, you could just be air support or tactical support. Now, that means that if you're brought in as, a say, a, a, an air tactical support guy, you're the machine gunner or the cannon operator on a, on a variety of different helicopters, Hercules, you know, the, you know, the Hercules gunships that circle around and strafe the crap out of things. Yeah, you can be that guy. And it is fun. It is fun sitting there just opening up on the zombie hordes as they're coming across the map. Albeit the graphics look like they were created 17,000 years ago before PCs were even invented. Or if you're just like a regular land unit, you will come in there with your army and then it becomes a real-time strategy game where you have to build your factories and build your resources and all of that. Again, the graphics look like awful. It's, it, they kind of remind me of Vomit. Uh, yeah. But nevertheless, graphics do not make a game, guys. It's how the game plays. And that's the problem with this. It has all this potential. It, it, fantastic. One of the best ideas that I think I've come across for a long, long time for a game. It's just very badly put together. That's the problem. I mean, just to give you an example. When the games start off, you build up your armies... You can see the enemy on the map, but you can't see whether they're attacking or not because it's all fog of war. You can see your allies, and when they start making a push, you see this, like if they're green, you'll just see this green sort of wave start to move slowly up the map. And if you go and have a look, you'll see that that's a big army, tanks, anti-aircraft, missile launchers, machine gunners, armoured support units... Loads and loads of different types of infantry, rocket launchers, snipers, mortars, regular infantry, all kinds of stuff. You then push up with your army to join them uh, in this big fight that you expect that's going to happen in the middle of the map as the enemy forces are coming down and your forces are moving up. That doesn't happen, guys. They just walk past each other. All <laughs> right, mate, where are you off to? Oh, you off to eat some brains? Aye, we're off to eat some brains uh, in your base. Where are you off to? Oh, wait, we're going to wreck your base. Oh, really? Okay. Good luck on that. We've got a few defensive turrets. Oh, cheers for the tip. I'll, I'll watch that one when we get there. Don't want to don't wanna get hurt now, do we? Guys, it's, it's, it's hilarious. The whole zombie horde walk through the entire army. It's just... It's just what the f***? What the actual, actual, actual... There's no attack move, so, you know, the only way you can actually get them to fight is if you tell them to move short of where the enemy is and kind of hold a line there, and then they'll attack anything that comes inside. It's terrible. The AI is just absolute garbage in this game. It, it, it ruins the game. Absolutely ruined. They had this... I mean, they've still got, obviously, time to fix this, but my goodness. These should be attack on sight. These are zombie hordes, man. 
I mean, when a zombie horde's coming towards a military base and you've got tanks and hundreds of, of units, they ain't just going to stand there and look at the zombies coming down and let them pass. They'd be opening up. They'd be held to pay. There should be mass fights in the middle of the map. It, this, it's, oh, God, what the f***? Also, as well, they're, they're, they're like bullet sponges, a lot of the, the enemy as well. You, you, you get gunships and you're blasting away at them and they're still standing for ages. And... It all just becomes a giant mess on the battlefield with, with zombies getting through your lines. Your lines now moved 16 miles north while there's tons of zombies just magically walk through them and they're in your base. And it just becomes a complete cluster of a game. And that's a shame. That's a huge shame because it has loads of maps for skirmish mode. It has the campaign, which it has two big campaign maps as well. Uh, there's loads of different options you can play which I haven't gone into yet. I've mentioned that you can be the gunner in the, the, the aircraft. You can also be the main RTS guy. You can just be in charge of air support if you want, uh, calling in airstrikes and things like that. Just um, deciding where you're gonna put artillery and airstrikes because one of the cool features of this game is if you build certain uh, tactical buildings, they will generate these points that you can spend. And these are all kind of spent on super weapons, kind of like some big support weapons. Uh, so you can unleash all of them as well. And of course, there's three factions and you can play as any of the factions. You can be survivors and military, or you can play as the zombies, where you have to put zombie buildings down and generate different types of zombies and uh, then attack the, the humans. Um, all sounds fabulous. It really does. There's nothing really in the description of this game or the, um, the highlights of this game that I don't like. I think on paper, this is just phenomenal. It really is. I just wish the developers had been able to take what they'd planned and implemented that into an actually good game. I mean, it's way overpriced. Let's just start with that. It's massively overpriced, this game. Um, it's nowhere near. I mean, we took £25. That's half of a AAA game. And look at it. My goodness, it looks like it was pulled out of the arse of a dog. Valheim, just a, it's a totally different type of game, but that's like 15 quid. And that's a fantastic game. This is £25, and it's pretty much not broken as such, but it's it needs a shit ton of work. And this isn't early access, guys. This is finished. This is why I'm probably being a bit harsh. Um, I mean, thankfully, I got the key off the developers. I didn't have to pay £25. I'd probably be crying now. But it's it's just nowhere near worth £25. Not in the, Certainly not in the state it's in. Now, if it had better graphics and everything worked properly and it was way more fleshed out than it is, then I would say absolutely this is worth £25. Definitely. But in its current state of lousy graphics, really not very good gameplay, very badly balanced as well it, it just it it's just it needs a lot more time spent in the oven before it's ready to be served this unfortunately so there you go guys i'm so disappointed because when i got the email off the developer and i read about this on steam i thought my goodness this is a game for me this is a game that i would have loved and i hope the developer doesn't give up i really hope the developer just works harder on this fixes some of the problems and uh, reduces the price. Damn. <laughs>